if if we hadn't i know it's a big ask and i know i probably obsess about it a little bit more than is healthy but this blind tribalism that just means we've stopped analyzing things honestly and objectively you are either for us or you are against us it's as if we've turned even the simplest of political questions into an episode of game of thrones well thankfully not on this program because everybody sensible should be at first at least perturbed by the idea that we are currently led after a year in which we've performed among the worst countries in the world we're still far too close to the top of all these charts of deaths and infections and new cases we're still because our media is so absolutely I, I mean, broken in so many ways by what happened in 2016 we're, we're still having pointless arguments about masks and messaging when you know really people are going to die because the prime minister has not uh, changed course on what has become and i'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say when it was announced it wasn't foolish it has become a very foolish piece of legislation people are going to die you have conservative politicians this morning suggesting common sense should come into play and that we should all be very careful and then you have tobias elwood a conservative mp getting busted by the daily mail for attending a christmas party brackets that wasn't a christmas party close brackets with 27 other people this is the day after he stood up in the house of commons and made a speech about how important it was for us to behave ourselves and use our common sense during that five-day period so there's no earthly way this was deliberate do you remember when we used to fondly imagine, because Dominic Cummings had this completely undeserved reputation for being some sort of genius, we used to fondly imagine that there was a master plan, that the likes of you and me were just too too lowly to be able to discern a sort of touch of the emperor's new clothes to it. We used to think, oh, there must be a plan. There's no way this continuing cavalcade of chaos could possibly be accidental there's no earthly way that the these levels of incompetence could be clearly true there must be something going on behind the scenes that we are not party to that would explain why everything's going so badly i think that's how people ended up believing that, that the conservative government actually wanted to kill huge swathes of the population something that i i, I mean you might not agree but i, I find it ridiculous ridiculous that 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 would have been a guy i truly do that that would have been a government policy. And yes, I'm familiar with the quote in the Sunday Times about letting it rip through the population, but a single quote in a single newspaper does not a summer make. But we've ended up in a place where the Prime Minister has passed a law to let us do things that every member of the Cabinet is now urging us not to do. 